What's up, Bacalice, and welcome back to Pontificating with a pimp named Percy. Now, today's word of the day is netizing. <laughs> and what that means is an avid user of the internet. Someone who spends all of their time and knows all of the nooks and crannies in it. And how I would use that in a sentence is, I would say, Hey, go tell that bitch Teresa to fix it. She netizing. Don't make me have to jettison your recreational medicine if you don't let us in. Now go make me a sandwich with some cheese and put some lettuce in. <laughs> Netizen. Use that in a sentence to tell them that your partner Percy sent you. <laughs> What's up, Acolytes, and welcome back to Pontificating with a Pimp Named Percy. Now, today's word of the day is unctuous. And what that means is not being completely forthcoming or true and going overboard trying to show niceties, trying to dissemble, trying to make someone feel like something that you don't actually feel. You know, doing too much. How I use that in a sentence. So I'm chilling with these hoes and I don't got this new one. I'm just with my bottom bitch and she brought our cousin over there. And our cousin's just doing too much. She over there rubbing my feet, which is cool. She over there rubbing my ass and she's trying to give me everything that I want. And I just tell my bottom bitch, I say, listen, here, take your unctuous ass cousin and go make some money with all of that. If she gonna be doing all of that, then we might as well be getting paid for it. So, um, unctuous. Go use that in a sentence. What's up, Acolytes, and welcome back to Pontificating with a pimp named Percy. Now, today's word of the day is forlorn. <laughs> and what that means is pitifully sad, lonely, not possible to happen. How we use that in the sentence is I had to put my little son on punishment because he wasn't doing the dishes properly. And uh, as he's bamming on the door that I got locked, screaming and crying, I said to him, your forlorn attempts are futile. You will not be coming out here for a while. So that's how you use forlorn. <laughs> and you got to get them when they're born so they know when they grow up. So use forlorn in the sentence and What's up, Acolytes, and welcome back to Pontificating with a Pep named Percy. Now, today's word of the day is incommodious. And what that word means is inconvenient, uncomfortable, discomfort. How I use incommodious in a sentence is, so my chick, she was getting my hair done. And so she brought me this wig. And I ain't really, really like that wig. So I just had to tell her. I said, listen here, girl. Okay. Now, do I do this to you when you got to get your wig? No, I don't. So I need you to take this incommodious wig and take it back to where you got it from. Because I will just rock a ball head until I get my stuff ready and prepared. Because I'm not going to be putting up with this incommodious feeling again. Okay? Don't let me have to tell you again. Incommodious. That's right. Use that word because that's a beautiful word. Incommodious. <laughs> you know, it's melodious. <laughs> What's up, Acolytes, and welcome back to Pontificating with a pimp named Percy. Now, today's word of the day is gormless. Now, what that means is lacking of intelligence, lacking of knowledge, stupid, foolish, feckless. <laughs> now, how I would use that in a sentence is, y'all know John Moret, he's been going through his problems with that ping, 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 pow, 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 but without even squeezing the trigger, just holding it like a dumbass, like just swinging it around. Um, how I would use that in a sentence is, I would say, listen here, John Morant, you got to be the most feckless, gormless individual that I ever seen in my life. $200 million and you want to walk around with your little piece shooter and just showing it all on the, the internet like that. That's pretty damn gormless. And um, you better get your act together and you better get some new friends because they shouldn't be recording you. Gormless. Use that in a sentence and then tell John.